Hi guys, I'm sitting here with Mark in his brand new 4.9 bow rider. Uh, we're about to take it for a run. I thought you might want to come along for the ride and um, show a few features. So there's a lot of choice out there um, out of the marketplace and um, you know obviously a lot of people would like to know why you went for a TAS boat, a plate boat, you know, some, uh, some of the salespeople and the, in the information about the boat. Sure. Two years is a long time to look for a boat. Yeah, well, just always dreaming and, yeah. and, that and just waiting for the money to come through till we had the money to do it. But um, once I went to the boat show and sort of wasn't that impressed with uh, a couple of the makes I was looking at there, um, got in contact with you, got a factory tour and was quite happy with everything. Excellent. And um, I think just more reassurance that you basically, everything was open, there was no secrets or anything, whereas other people, other sales reps from uh, other companies weren't really that forward um, coming about their knowledge or about um, you know, the process of making the boat, so yep. to speak. It's a lot easier for me, um, you know, we've, um, when what we put the effort that we put into our boats, um, if you come to the factory and have a look at them or we'll talk to our sales staff, they're well trained mm -hmm. in the other states to really explain what a plate boat is. Um, a lot of people think they can't afford a plate boat when all they need to do is ask. Yeah. You certainly can have a genuine plate boat. You can enjoy the ride and the comfort factor of a slightly heavier boat offers. If you just go for you know, the local boat down the boat ramp or the one around the corner without investing any time and effort like you have, then you'll fall into that trap of getting something that's not as good as, as quality as what you, you could have spent. But then it doesn't mean more money. And I actually forego electric because um, the other ones I priced up with an electric. Yep. I went a bit over budget on the boat to get a better quality boat and wait for the electric. Yep. Um, yeah, make, a good Christ, make a good Christmas present. Oh, maybe so tax return present. Silly yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Not quite that early, but yeah. So um, I think just a better quality boat is more important at the moment. Yep. Uh, we can keep it for the year. And in the last one I bought was seven grand, so yeah. yeah. it's a big difference. Yeah. You step up, so. Um, and I know you've got a young family too, so having the, um, the comfort and the, you know, the forethought that this boat's going to last um, not just the your short period of time, but those guys as well, yeah. and, and the safety aspects of a quality boat and everything. Yeah, that. that was the main thing, like, uh, we want to go out uh, to Morton and places like that, a few of the islands, and yep. getting back with the two young kids. We've got a bit of a safety board, so, yeah. yeah. through those with you I'll just say a few of them um, quickly to the viewers so what we've gone for is a 70 horsepower on the back of it I want to talk yeah. more at length about that in a minute um, but we went for the Lowrance 9 Elite Ti, Elite Ti2 uh, an infill board up the front so you can your casting platform electric motor brackets we'll more about that It's an offshore boat, miniaturised, that's what you said. 